What is up, YouTube? We're here with the new best deck, DDDs. Let's get into it. To start off, we got DDD Chaos King Apocalypse. This card, in my final build, I'm still working on this deck. In my final build, I'll probably be removing a King Apocalypse, a Witch, and maybe a TTH, but may maybe one of these three, or two of these three, because I'm going to throw in two more Savant Keplers, and then this deck will be solid. It just needs two more Keplers, but... I'm sure I haven't gotten into the box too much, so I've only got one so far. We got three DD Swirl Slimes, two DD Orthros. Orthros is like a pseudo hand trap slash spell destruction. You can, if you take battle damage or effect damage, you can special summon it from your hand. And if it's a pendulum, if you put it in the pendulum field, you can destroy one of your spell, tra spell traps, so one of your contracts, and then target um, another card on the field, another spell trap, and destroy it. You got DD Savant Kepler, which is insane. It lets you search any of your contracts. You got DDD Dragon King Pendragon. This card is actually pretty ridiculous. Discard one card, pop a spell trap on the field, and gain 500 attack. So it's 3,100 attack. Pop a back row. Easy to special summon it with DD Swirl Slime. So after you do a little fusion summon, say you use DD Swirl Slime and a Night Owl or anything else, you can then banish DD Swirl Slime, bring out DD Dragon King Pendragon, discard a card, pop a back row. You got any of these fusion monsters out. You could probably get a Dragon King Beowulf out and a Dragon King Pendragon on the first turn. I do that plenty of times. Then we got two DD Night Howls. This card is actually really insane as well. This card, when it's normal summoned, you can target one DD monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So the targets you're going to be wanting to special summon with this is a DD Beformit and any of the level sevens. So the Dark King Pendragon or a King Apocalypse, which is the reason why I have it in the deck right now, because it's a level seven. And the reason why we want these is because as a level seven is because that's how you bring out your dust king high alexander or gust king sorry so you summon night howl special summon a dark king pen dragon or a chaos king apocalypse synchro summon into gust high king alexander and if you have a swirl slime in your hand first you can fusion summon into a flame king genghis then when you Synchro Summon for the High King Alexander, you can Special Summon back a Dragon King Pendragon. So the combo for that, let me just explain it to you real fast. I'll actually show you a video on this later as well. But you Swirl Slime, ditch two cards. You ditch your Pendragon, and you ditch any other card, any other DD. That will allow you to Fusion Summon Flame King Genghis. Flame King Genghis stays on the field. Then you Summon... DD Night Howl. Night Howl will special summon your Pendragon back from the grave. Synchro summon into High King Alexander. Then Flame Genghis will allow you to special summon since... Um, how is this special summon exactly? You can target one DD monster. Oh, if another DD monster is special summoned. So whenever you special summon a new DD monster, you can then target another DD monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So once you summon the DD High King Alexander through that Synchro, then you bring back the Tr King Pendragon once more, then it's got all of its stats back, it can pop a back row, and you are good to go. DD Beth Format is literally just here for um, Night Howl as well. You summon Night Howl, bring back Beth Format. Beth Format then can transform your Night Howl into either a level 6 to allow you to bring out High Gust King Alexander again, or you can turn Night Howl into a level 4 to exceed summon into Wave King Caesar, depending on the situation. You got three contracts with the gate, which lets you search any DD monster from your deck to your hand. One dark contract with the Swamp King. Treacherous, you can get rid of. I kind of, like I said, I don't have two Keplers, so I have a Treacherous for now. I have three dark contracts with the Witches. I was originally using a, um, what's it called, a mirror force, a drowning mirror force. I was originally using it like this, but the problem with this is with dark contract with the witch, 
you need to discard a DD or a Dark Contract. So I was finding myself a lot of times either deciding, do I want to make a play or do I want to set Drowning and do nothing and hope I don't die? So I think it's better to get rid of that Drowning and add the second Dark Contract with the Witch. So let me add that back in there. I probably shouldn't have removed it. <laughs> and yeah, let's go into this, to the extra deck. DD Flame King Angus, we went over that. Once you special summon a DD, you can special summon a DD from the grave. DD Dragon Bang King Wolf is insane as well during your um, standby phase on your on your turn after you summon it. You can destroy all cards in the spell and trap card zones, including pendulums if they're in the spell trap card zones, which they are. Then you got DD Oracle King Dark. Basically turns all your burn into life point gain instead. Vermilion Dragomech. Okay, this might sound insane. Why do you have Vermilion Dragomech? How are you summoning Vermilion Dragomech? Well, let me show you. When you summon this Genghis, this Genghis honestly does not do very much most of the time, I feel like. Yeah, it gives you that extra special summon for the Alexander. Yeah, it could bring back your Pendragon. But say you don't have a special summon, then this Genghis is just a little 2k beater. Yeah, you can target a dark contract in your graveyard to bring it back to your hand. But that's not all that helpful either, I, fi I found a lot of times. So, what I like to do occasionally is summon my Night Howl. When I summon my Night Howl, I can then synchro into the, Verm the Vermilion Dragon Met pop something on the field, and Vermilion Dragon Mech has three different tuners in this deck to go off with, so that's pretty good. This can be subject to change. You could throw in another High King Alexander if you want to throw in any other card. This one I just like for myself right now. I might eventually choose to have two Cut Dust King Alexanders, or cut a Beowulf out another Alexander. DD Wave King Caesar is a very situational card as well. But a very good card as well. What this card does is during either player's turn, you can detach one exceed material from this card. At the end of the battle phase, special summon from your graveyard as many monsters destroyed this turn as possible. But during your next standby phase, take 500 damage for each monster summoned by this effect. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one dark, dark contract card from your deck to your hand. So basically, it will allow you to search a dark contract when it dies, which is pretty good. And the main thing that I like to use it for is for the secondary effect. You play it like a turn one, and if they blew up your field next turn, then you're protected. It'll special summon it all back. All right, I've talked on about this long enough. Let's get into some gameplay real fast before I ramble on too long about this. I'll show you a quick one to start with. So over here, we're against the nine win streak deck. Witness what's beyond evolution. End of the world is my skill. Honestly, it's just there because I don't have the delay contract. I, I would prefer that one, the procrastination contract. Up to your reputation. Duel. All right. What does fate have in store for me? So remember I was telling you that, that combo with DD Dark King Pendragon? This duel shows it off perfectly. This is this is this deck going off right here. Alright, so we draw. We'll play the continuous spell, Dark Contract from the Gate. That will allow us to search a DD monster. We will get DD Swirl Slime. We will use Swirl Slime's effect. With Swirl Slime, we can fusion summon pretty much any DD that we have in the extra deck because we have the Triple D Dark King Pendragon. So like I said, we'll go into Triple D Flame King Genghis. Flame King Genghis is insane to start off with because when you special summon a monster, it will special summon a monster from the grave. DD Night Howl, when normal summoned, special summon back the Pendragon. Pendragon's effects will be negated, however, so 
synchro you summon synchro a summon it. Bring out Dusk King High Alexander. Comes in with 3,000 tech. Genghis then special summons back the Pendragon. Pendragon now has all of its stats. King, Dusk King High Alexander is now 6,000 attack since we have three Triple Ds on the field. And then you easy OTK right there. That is the full power of the deck right there. So you literally need three cards and you get an insane board like that. You literally just need three cards. And also that third card can even search itself. So you basically have six Swirl Slimes in your deck. Or you could even use that contract to search out a Pendragon if you need to. So it's pretty consistent to bring that, to do that combo. Here we have another duel. I've never gone easy on anyone. Again, end of the world can be swapped for anything, honestly. It's just duel, skill. Words mean nothing. It's time to duel. duel. I find DDs it's to be very... You can play it so many different ways. So I'll try to explain how to play DDs again on this one. Why don't we do anything besides set a trap card here, if you're wondering? The reason why I'm just setting a trap card here is because I don't want to all in. This is this is a really good turn two deck. I don't think he can kill me. Dark Contract, I can ditch a Swirl Slime, pop whatever he plays. So I feel pretty safe with that. It's my turn. I draw. Now I draw. Now what do we have here? We have Swirl Slime. We have the Pen Dragon. Here, I could go for the DD Night Howl. Now I got those three cards in my hand again. And let's see if I end up doing the same combo. Oh, no, this time we're doing a different combo. We're bringing in Beowulf this time. Beowulf brings out Nighthawk brings out another Dust King Alexander. Oh, the reason why I did it this way rather than the Genghis way. Like I said, Genghis is just a 2k beater that just special summons a monster. This is another combo. You can summon it with Dark Contract with the Swamp King. This will allow me to summon a different Triple D monster that's better than Genghis. So I could have summoned a second um, a second King Beowulf, I could have summoned a Dark, or I could have summoned the Genghis after all, but I probably would have summoned a Dark there. Alright, this video is getting a little long, so we'll just do one more for now. I'll probably continue this with the part two, because honestly, DDs are a little bit confusing to play. All right. I've never gone easy. You'll learn we'll try to fast power. forward this one a little bit. Feel the flow. So, you literally got the combo in our hand again. Jeez. Let's see if we end up doing that combo a third time. Genghis, Night Howl, Pen Dragon. Into an instant surrender. <laughs> Alright, there you have it. That's the combo that we have in this deck. And I'll put out a part two on this video to show some other plays with this deck. Alright, thank you guys. If you watched the whole 14 minutes of this episode, please like, please comment, please subscribe. If you want to see more Duel Links videos and in the future some Master Duel videos, please feel free to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.